All right, this book is The Worst Best Friend by Alexis O'Neill and Laura Halishka Bythe. Let's read this one and take a look at what happens here. It's a growth chart. Looks like they're in a classroom. All right. Mike and Conrad, Conrad and Mike, were best friends. Here's the friend of Mito. Worst best friend, bad best friend, average best friend, good best friend, best best friend. High five, high five, knuckle knuckle clap, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, stomp, stomp, snap. So they had their own secret handshake. Mike and Conrad, Conrad and Mike, ate together, read together, played together, kickball, basketball, dodgeball, tag. And then one day, the principal popped in. Beside him stood a boy, a big, big boy. Hello, class, this is Victor. He is new. Hey, said Victor. Hey, said the class. Hey, called Conrad above the rest of them. Come sit with us. So Mike and Conrad and Conrad and Mike, the best, best friends, made room for Victor at their table. During recess, Victor yacked and bragged and blabbed. See, I have a medal for every sport. Wow, said Conrad. Mike said, come on, let's play. Let's stay, said Conrad. He is awesome. Victor yacked and bragged and blabbed some more. Mike walked away. The next day, it was Conrad and Victor, Victor and Conrad. They walked together, ate together, played together. No room for Mike. There's Mike there in the back feeling pretty sad. What happened to Mike's best friend? Just like that, Conrad had become the worst best friend. Mike could not decide. Was he sad? Was he mad? What was he to do? That afternoon, uh, Mike zoomed from the playground. He hit the playground. Zip, zap, zap. Hey, who wants to play? Mike called, the kickball in his hand. Victor yelled, I'm the captain of the red team. Who wants to win? Mike steamed. That boy was new. He took Mike's friend, Mike's best, best friend, and he called out captain first. Well, I'm captain of the blue team, Mike yelled back. They chose sides. Mike picked a kid, then Victor picked a big kid, Mike picked a kid, then Victor picked a big, big kid. No one picked Conrad. Back and forth, the captains went. Hey, Victor, whispered Conrad. What about me? Look, pal, Victor blasted. I want to win. Big kids, wow, they can pow the ball right out of sight. You're not big. Mike watched his friend, his worst best friend, slump against the fence. No fair, thought Mike. How could Victor do that? Then Mike said, I choose Conrad. Me, said Conrad. You, said Mike. Play ball. The teams warmed up. The game began. Pitch, kick, run, catch. Three times the red team snatched that ball. You're out. We're up yelled Victor from the field. The blue team pitched and ran and jumped. But that ball whizzed past so fast and high, Mike's blue team could not reach. And one by one, the big kids rammed and slammed that ball clear out of sight. Each inning was the same. We won, we won, crowed Victor from home plate. He danced a victory dance. Conrad looked at Victor, Victor looked at Mike, and to his friend, his true blue friend, he said, thanks for picking me. Mike tossed the ball against the wall. I've been the worst best friend, said Conrad. The worst, worst friend, said Mike. Conrad hung his head. Still friends, he asked. Mike bounced the ball. He spun the ball. He gave the, the ball a big kick. Hmm. Okay, Mike said, let's play. So Mike and Conrad, Conrad and Mike, were best, best friends again. 
High five, high five, knuckle, knuckle, clap. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, stomp, stomp, snap. Beep.